<laughs> hey, I'm Connor Hallebach. I'm Nick Aguilers. Hey, I'm PLD. And today I'm going to be calling out my Winnipeg Jets teammates. Most likely to finish last in fantasy football. Well, I don't want to brag, but I do have the championship after last year. I'm calling him out, Mark Shifley. I'm going to do this. It'd be Nick Ehlers, because he doesn't <laughs> know anything about football. He knows nothing about football. Oh, I believe that. I'm not a big NFL fan. Out of the guys that play, Pierre-Luc Dubois. Does a lot of research, thinks he knows what he's doing, but he doesn't. Doobie likes to think he's pretty good, but I don't think uh, the football is his strong suit. A guy probably said me on this one. <laughs> I'm having a rough start. I'm going to go with Neil Pionk. I'd like to put this guy's face on there because he took last in our fantasy baseball this summer. Neil Pionk. He's panicking already. Asking me for trades. Bucky's finishing last. Might be the worst GM out there. You got put on that card by a couple people. Really? Yeah. That's weird because I won last year and, or sorry, I won two years ago and I came in third last year, so that's kind of weird. <laughs> Most likely to take food off your plate. Adam Lowry. If there's bread on the table, this guy's eating it. Schmitty. He, he never gets his own plate. You know, he, he ends up just kind of dabbling here and there, picking away at everybody else's. This guy would never allow food to be wasted. It's a good part, but he would take it off long before you're done, which is Dylan Sandberg. Dylan Sandberg. He's a big boy, he likes to eat. Young, cheap guy. Anytime you can get a free meal from someone, or uh, you know, even last year he stayed at Peeler's house rent-free for, uh, for a month and a half, so uh, he's definitely the guy that'd be taking the food off your plate. Sorry, Dill. This guy's got sticky fingers. He'll come take food off my plate. Most likely to walk away from a tap. Mmm. Oh, see, he's walking away from me <laughs> on the board. Connor Hallibach. Bucky. Witnessed it. Bucky, you're exposed. We'll go Bucky again. He also cheats at golf. This guy right here, number one suspect. Kind of explains itself. <laughs> we like to bug him that he's cheap. He's not actually, but. He's, he's a great guy, but he's, uh, he's an easy target, I think. So Winnipeg just starting goalie. Maybe just feels like he should be getting some meals paid for him. Loves to sneak away when it's time to pay for the tab. Sandberg. Sorry, buddy. Got to pick up a couple tabs. The reason I'm laughing so hard is because we have a person to say. Oh, they're all saying me. I, I think That's rare. Person to say you for that one. Oh god. Most likely to pick up the tab. Blake Wheeler, definitely. Mr. Blake Wheeler. Oh, we say wheels. He's usually he wants to get going, so he just grabs a tab and then <laughs> so that way we can get going on the next day. He's been around a long time. He he likes to take care of the boys. Well, I don't know that face though. I don't know if he's really a good tab pickup guy. He looks pretty upset about doing it too. <laughs> That's Dubois. Doobie usually likes to treat the boys. Doobie's pretty good with stuff like that. He organizes a lot of uh, the good nights for us. And he's, he's got some good connections. He organizes a lot of our things. You know, getting some dinners and good setup, so. He's a guy that'll grab that tab right away. Good on Doobie. J-Mo. Go Josh Morrissey. J-Mo scoops a lot of tabs. All around great guy. <laughs> Doesn't ask for the money back, just makes you feel bad about it and wants you to know that you should appreciate it. Who has the weirdest pregame routine? I think this one's just most publicized with his eyes on the on the bench. Can you do it? Can you do it for the camera? <laughs> Who uses the most hair product? I'll go with Shife. Dom. I think Dom low-key uses the most hair product, but he makes it look good. Just look at the picture. That's a lot of hair product. Like I said, it takes me a little longer before warm-ups to get out there. Yeah, we'll go with Brendan Dillon. He has good hair, so I can't chirp that because I don't have good hair. <laughs> so you gotta be Mr. Brendan Dillon. The Dilly Bar. <laughs> Fancy here. Big spike. But you don't get your hair to look like this unless you're using a lot of hair product. That's impossible. You know, I'm not sure if this is a compliment or a chirp, but uh, GMO's probably the guy here. Skip's leg day. <laughs> you gotta go Nikolai Ehlers. Definitely Ehlers. Probably the only guy with smaller calves than me on the team. Ehlers. Great soccer player, but that's about the extent of those legs. Nikki. He can fly, but they're not very big. You can count me in on that one. Not that I do, but my, my legs aren't uh, the biggest ones. Fly flies out there. Unbelievable skater. So I'm gonna throw Appy on there as well, just to chirp him. And myself, looking at two pretty fast guys out there. So you don't need the big legs. <laughs> Maybe Mr. Cole Perfetti. <laughs> Sorry, Fats. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with Laos. He does it, but it looks like he doesn't. I will say that. Who hosts the best parties? Great parties at uh, Bucky's house. Neil Pionk hosts a great party. Neil Pionk. Neil's got some good parties. Nice house. Never shortage on beers at his, his house. <laughs> his house is always open. He might not like it, but the boys definitely enjoy it. Nate Schmidt hosts a great party too. I think I hosted the best party last year, but I didn't only hosted one. All right, yeah, I'll put my, let's do it. Boom. I had the guys over, we played, I had a fire pit and all that stuff, but the best part was we played lightning in the basement for about three hours <laughs> with basketball. A lot of our nicknames and chirps from that year came from that night. He's got, got to have one of the nicer pads in Winnipeg. 
Mark Shifley. Who thinks he has sweet style? He probably thinks it, but he kind of does. Dubois, he does have some good style. Keyword is thinks he has sweet style. Did I get a few of those? Did I get shirt? I was, he likes to dress up for the games. He's been known to wear some Hawaiian shirts and thinks they're sweet, but <laughs> I'm not loving them. We're gonna give this as two part. Who thinks he has sweet style? And he actually does, is Mr. Adam Lowry. Me. The secondary to that, Mr. Mark Shifley, who doesn't have as good a style as at Laos does. Probably go back with Bucky on this one. He has some very interesting style. He uh, likes to wear these loafers that, you know, should have been thrown away four years ago, but he still uh, wears them probably 20 times a season. Pickiest eater. I mean, Laos, he's, uh, he doesn't like sushi. He's a pretty plain guy. Nikolai Ehlers. The fly dog, Nikolai Ehlers. I'll throw myself on there, even though I don't think I'm that picky. I'm gonna go with Shife on this one too. I've, I've seen firsthand. Not a big leftovers guy. Adam, you gotta eat more, bro. Cool, Fats. Brought him out a few times to eat, and you bring something, uh, I mean, it wasn't literally this, but it'd be like, they'd bring potatoes out, and he'd be like, I've never had that. And you're like, what? Like, it's pretty common concept. Most active in the group chat. <laughs> Definitely Schmitty. It's gotta be Schmitty. Nate Schmidt. Schmitty. He's just active in the room. You know, Schmitty's the guy that's always buzzing in the group. He got the poll, the polls going. I didn't even know you could do polls. I gotta pick myself because I say myself, I essentially talk to myself in our group chat half the time. <laughs> you know, I want to do fancy picks or try and ask for a good restaurant. I try and I always try and set something up. Dylan DeMello's most active in the group chat. Dylan DeMello. Maybe undercover Dylan DeMello, always chiming in with something. He might not start everything, but he will be the guy to reply to everyone. He's, he's the guy you need in your group chat. I think I'm on a nine text streak right now of no answer back. <laughs> it's tough, it's tough. Biggest grit grinder. <laughs> What's a grit grinder? <laughs> Up for interpretation? I don't even know what that means. How would you describe this? <laughs> is it a bar down special? What are we considering a grit grinder? Like biggest grinder on the team? Adam, he's gotta be. Laos got a lot of grit in his games. Go to my line mate Laos, plays a gritty hard game. He's like a big guy that runs around hitting guys. Mason Appleton? Appy. Him and Neil Pionk don't like people that sleep in. You know, Appy knows knows the grind. He's been in Winnipeg a few a few years and knows the tough winter. Look at that mug shot. <laughs> Tony, this one's for you, bud. Keep working on that one time we're after practice, please. <laughs> Who sings in the shower? <laughs> Nate Schmidt. Schmitty. Nate Schmidt for sure sings in the shower. He, he loves to talk. Schmitty is terrible at singing. Probably the loudest person in the locker room, so a lot of times you'll hear him before you see him. Seen him get going a little bit and he likes to sing and dance. We've had to tell him to stop because it was getting too much, but I think these two guys. This guy is quieter around the rink, but I think when he gets home, him and his wife don't stop talking, and which would translate to singing in the shower, that'd be Josh Morrissey. I could see DeMello doing it. Maybe Mello's been working on his his voice in there, hear him lurking on his Portuguese uh, pipes, I don't know. Who's most likely to complain about their EA NHL rating? Definitely Shife. I'm gonna go with Shife on it too. I feel like he, he'd be a good one for that. If he saw it, he, he'd say his hands are better or his goal scoring is better, something. EA is gonna screw him on something. He's such a hockey nerd with that kind of stuff that I could see that chapping him a little bit. I think Shife would actually have some video to back it up, you know, and, and actually have a, a decent chance of getting it, getting it up higher. I feel like this guy gets picked a lot. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> he might take it a little too seriously or get offended or something, so. Fetz is most likely to complain about his ratings. I feel like I'm picking on Fly, but I think it's because he's probably one of the few guys that still plays. I think Shife and Doobie would probably complain a little more than the rest of us. Without a doubt. Bucky. The promoter, Pierre-Luc Dubois. He would say something like, my face offs are way better than that, or I skate way faster than that, or my shot's way harder than that. Who takes longest to get out of their gear? JMO. Very casual about it. I feel like I'm usually one of the last guys to get out of the room, so me. Probably Nikki. He's just uh, pretty lethargic, I would say. Just getting dressed and getting out of the gear. Nikki takes his time just like me. I, I, I like to sit there and listen to me some music, especially after a win. I'm gonna give it to Appleton. I think he's a guy who likes to reflect on his game after. Honestly, I probably have to go with myself on that one. You know, sometimes after a game, I'll be looking around the room and everybody will be gone and I'll just be sitting with my bottoms on still and thinking I need to get the heck out of here. Mason Appleton, because he loves a good hot stove after practice. What, what do you mean a hot stove? A hot stove, like, uh, you know, you throw some wood on the fire and start solving the world's problems. <laughs> yeah, he's a hot stove guy. Him and Neil Pionk. 
I'd say Schmitty probably. Talking, you know, talking to everybody, hey, what's going on? Next thing you know, people are walking out and he's still got his skates tied up. So the amount of hot stoves driving in, just what's going on, how's the, how are things at home? Everything was great, he's, he's the man. Dude, he used the same term. He, like, yeah. so many hot stoves. Oh yeah, well, hot stove, there's a bar down, there's a bar down when we need to. Throw that one in there, you know, I wanna hear a hot stove.